Hello, um, my name is Danny, and this is our second design, a uh, UX design project. Um, we were to create a user interface for a Chinese restaurant called the China World. Um, I definitely had a fun time putting all of this together, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, so I am just going to get stuck right into this. I apologize for the UI here. Um, so I did a similar layout to how our first project was. I thought that was the best way to get all the information out in a uh, pleasing manner. So I will go ahead and start. Um, the first step of design is understanding. Um, the China World is a Chinese restaurant that wants to develop a new way to allow customers to order pickup and delivery orders. Not only do they want to expand the possibilities of generating revenue, but they want to offer their customers a more convenient experience uh, enjoying your, their food. Um, the only strict requirement is that the app include a pickup and delivery option. Um, and I said more information was needed on the user and their needs, so a questionnaire was developed to get a better insight on what is important to the user when ordering their food online. Um, so this section is really just to show that um, you want to understand the business and you want to understand the shareholders that you're creating their app for, what are their goals. For us, we had pretty much the one requirement um, to include a pickup and delivery option. Um, and so um, from there, it made more sense to me to kind of develop the app around what the users would want to um, would want to see. So that leads us into the research aspect of it. Um, so I said a questionnaire was developed to capture the user's most wanted features on a food ordering app. Um, the questions were formulated to be close-ended to ensure the feedback received was valuable. An age range question was included to better develop user personas. Um, that was something we didn't do in the first project that I made sure to put on my project um, because I think it kind of helps. Um, it kind of helps uh, put together a, a mental image of the users and stuff like that and kind of, like I said, better develop the user personas we were working with. Um, so here I have my Google form um, questionnaire that I created, um, the age range question here. Um, I asked when do you typically order food online? And that's kind of to get a idea of where the user might be, what's going on around them, what's the mood, you know, when they typically reach for their phone to order online. Um, stuff like that, kind of trying to keep that packed analysis um, concept in mind. Uh, which features are most important to you when ordering food online? Again, all of these are pretty close-ended besides the other section. Um, and really, I wanted to put that there just in case there was something that was like really blaringly obvious that I was forgetting in my questions and it just kept popping up. That didn't necessarily happen. Um, but but yeah, most most of it most of it was um, most of the data came from these close ended responses. So I thought that was pretty great. Um, and that takes us to the analyze section. Using the data pulled from the questionnaire, conclusions about how the design should be executed can be formulated. User personas can also be developed to get a better idea of the user's journey through the experience. And so here we have some pretty useful graphs um, that Google Form um, develops for you um, after you close your survey. Um, so those are pretty great. That really helps um, kind of visualize that data. And so here I have 
kind of a breakdown of the data that you see of the majority of the users that answered the questionnaire were between 26 and 35 years old. Um, and typically, which actually surprised me, um, users are normally relaxing at home when they're using the application. I personally use use um, food delivery apps when I'm at home, or I'm sorry, when I'm at work and I'm too busy. Um, so it was definitely good to know that not everybody shares that experience. A lot of people will use it to um, to relax and to um, and to add on to their relaxing experience at home. So that was really great for me to understand. Um, and then the two most requested features were completion time and an order tracker. Um, so menu item customization was a, a close um, second to that. So I, could, I definitely wanted to include that in there. And then you've got the rest of the items that um, I have here on my questionnaire down at the bottom. Um, so yeah, that's that gave me a pretty good idea of what I wanted the app to include. And now we get to the lovely personas. And um, I'll just kind of briefly explain. We have Miss Audrey Hill. Um, she's 29 from jo Atlanta, Georgia. She's a graphic designer who lives on her own. Um, Audrey is a creative and motivated go-getter. She spends her time working um, on her creative projects, which range from playing music to digital art, or scheming up new ways to get her creative ideas down. She's a true introvert that would rather be snuggled up and pages deep in a book instead of going out to a fancy dinner with friends. Um, so her wants and needs, um, she wants to live a meaningful life where she has time and space to create. Um, she loves tech that makes creating and time management easier. Um, and she wants to run her own creative agency one day. Her frustrations are tech that don't that does not offer um, convenience for her lifestyle. Unthoughtful tech, both visual and functional, because Audrey is a graphic designer and she definitely gets um, maybe judgmental on tech on interfaces that don't um, offer a. A, a, a pretty view um, or a thoughtful view or a thoughtful you know information hierarchy um, stuff like that and then processes that take too much time and energy from what she would really prefer to be doing which is something creative Audrey doesn't want to get stuck on an app trying to figure out how to order food or how to tell the chef hey I don't want onions on this um, that um, can be really frustrating so then we have Mac um, Kettleman. He's age 33, lives in San Francisco. He's a personal trainer and his living arrangements are he lives with his um, roommates slash friends. We have Mac here with a dumbbell. Mac fell in love with his fitness and health journey a few years back and has been obsessed ever since. He loves working out and taking on uh, new physical and mental changes daily. He's vegan and therefore maintains a very strict diet to ensure he gets the correct amount of nutrients his body needs to be in optimal physical shape. shape. Um, so just to kind of like summarize this here, um, so I don't spend too, too much time. So Mac is somebody that really, um, really cares about what's in his food and what his diet is. And so being able to modify um, modify the food or being able to modify an experience he's having with tech to fit his lifestyle is going to be more important to him than the way things look. Um, also making sure that it's simple enough so that um, he doesn't spend too much time like Audrey. Um, he doesn't want to spend too much time trying to figure out how to um, do what he needs to do on an app um, as opposed to um, working out or doing, you know, or, or doing something to better himself. Okay, and then lastly, we have Zoe. She's 42. She's from Seattle. She's a stay-at-home mom, and she lives with her family. Um, Zoe is a mother to Jasmine, a three-year-old little girl who means the world to her. 
Zoe is committed to creating a comfortable and warm environment for her family and loves having stay and movie nights with her husband and daughter. So um, Zoe is a persona that is really more so concerned with creating a great experience for her family at home, um, being a source of you know, um, warmth and making things comfortable for her family and having like, you know, let's say like the perfect movie night. Um, so what she wants to do is be able to, she wants to be able to um, not spend as much time on trying to get her family the experience that she de she thinks that they deserve. Um, she doesn't want to spend too much time doing other things besides that. Um, she really wants to make sure that she has an ETA or an order status whenever she's pr uh, placing orders online. That way there's no anxiety and there's no question on when things are going to be happening. Um, she would, she likes to be in control in that type of situation. Um, so those were the personas that I came up with for that. And my favorite part <laughs> was the design. <laughs> so the design of the interface is based off of the data recorded from the users and the development of the user personas. The design features a clean, no-nonsense design that is easy to use and gets right to the action ordering. As you move through the interface to place an order, you will notice the integration of the features the users requested the most, including estimated time, order status, and menu item modification. Um, so here, I wanted to kind of take you guys on a journey through placing an order through this interface. Um, on this first screen, this is where you would start. So as soon as you open the app or you went to the website, however, you know, this person would want to do this, um, this would be what you're greeted with. Very straightforward, you kind of have like a menu icon up here, might have some, you know, certain other things um, listed, but very straightforward. Will this be for delivery or takeout? <laughs> that was our first um, requirement. So, um, so yes, um, as soon as you get here, you are 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 um, greeted with this choice and it's very obvious okay this is for an order um, and then you've got the beautiful pictures of the food which I felt like would um, really kind of spark up some emotion maybe some hunger like man that looks really good um, so yeah so you would click one of these um, you would click one of these or tap on one of these buttons um, delivery of course would pull up you know your address and whatnot or if you want to take out you go straight here to the menu um, so again there's not like a whole I didn't want to put a whole lot of stuff in the um, on the screens because I wanted it to be very straightforward very easy um, nothing too complicated um, so what we have is the different menu categories with the little plus buttons here and so once you clicked on one of your plus buttons um, to expand the category, you would come to this screen, which is the item selection screen. So here we can see, um, obviously this would all move down the sides, um, kids, desserts, and beverages, that would all move down to make space for this area. Um, and I kind of have like a little bit of a mock-up of how things would go, but um, let's just pretend that you wanted to choose a low main, your low main, um, your uh, title of the entree would be up here with a picture of the food here. Again, that's kind of same concept as the, the title screen <laughs> per se. Um, kind of to just invoke emotion and to kind of give people an idea of what they want. Um, I think a lot of people are very visual, so they're kind of looking, you know, it kind of helps to have like that visual map of what they want. And um, that kind of goes along with um, just trying not to waste so much time with, uh, 
with trying to figure stuff out. Okay, so this next screen, um, this would almost be kind of like a shadow box that comes up. You can see there's like the menu is like blurred out in the background. So this would come up if you clicked, let me see, if you clicked low main, this would kind of come up as a shadow box. And then you have a section here to modify your ingredients and it would list, it would list all of your ingredients here. Um, and you'd be able to check these on and off. Um, you have a done button or a reset button, um, just in case you messed up and you don't know you don't know what was you know clicked or not clicked. You have the option to do it again. And um, I sort of skipped a couple screens just to save space and time. And um, obviously, you would get to the checkout screen once you're done. Um, type in your card information, all of that good jazz, but the main meat of the design here was, um, or at least on this screen, was the estimated time that your order would be ready. <clears throat> so you're greeted or um, you're thanked for your order, so thank you for your order. You have your estimated time here. Um, an order tracker with a, a visual bar. Um, I sort of took that from some other designs like Domino's and like other um, order trackers. I think that that was a really great, I think those are really great ideas. Um, I think it really helps a lot with, um, with the anticipation of ordering something. So we have a little bar currently preparing your order. This would sort of change per whatever was happening. So this could say something like, <clears throat> um, you know, a representative is uh, packing your order up for delivery, your order is on its way, you know, so on and so forth. Then you have a summary of your order here, and then the, um, and then the, uh, the, the delivery address if you chose delivery, just to kind of confirm everything. So yeah, I had a really fun time. Um, Putting all that together, I thought that I, I had a <laughs> had a great time. <clears throat> so um, then we go down to the launch. Um, in um, so the launch section says the application will be launched to a specific group of frequent customers. So the designers and shareholders will be able to gather data on their experiences to do, to create even better iterations of the app. To, include, to introduce to the general public. The app would be launched on mobile, tablet, and desktop. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is just kind of like a look on what that would look like if when it, once it launched to your phone. This is, you know, let's just say the, the group of users that it launched to. Here. And last but not least, we get back to analyze. I said, with the data pulled from the launch, the following questions would be asked. What went well with this launch and what did not? Are there any pain points that we did not anticipate? How can we make those better for our users? And how did users react to the app? What types of emotions were triggered? And did this align with our goals? So, um, so yeah, if there was a way for me to, <coughs> excuse me, actually launch this app, I would have loved to get get some actual, um, you know, uh, feedback from actual users, just like I did with the Google Forms, but maybe that, maybe for another project that could happen. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, and yeah, have a great Christmas.